entitled kid gets KO'd. So I live on a ranch, and we own some cattle. Hay has been really expensive lately, so we needed to sell some cows to afford hay. We had a listing of Facebook Marketplace and some other places about cattle for sale. We had some cows ready for butcher, so we put them in another pen. A lady DMs us and asks if she can come to the property and take a look. We agreed on a time and then discussed what type of cows we had. The day the lady was supposed to arrive. She seemed to be running late. We waited and she didn't show up. Later she apologized for not showing up and she asked if she could swing by the next day. I told her that I was going to be doing some busy work, but I'll probably be free later in the day. So it was settled. Next day, I was running some hay to our cows, and when I pulled into the driveway, her car was there. I get out and immediately I am met with. Where have you been? Oh you're here early. I said I was doing some stuff with the cows, but I've got some time to do this real quick. So I take her to the pen and she looks in. She points to the other pen and says. Why are they separated? Shouldn't these guys be together? Oh no, we are butchering them this summer, so we put them in there so we can fatten them up a bit. Butcher? You torture these wonderful creatures? Now I'm not one to judge someone who is against animal abuse, in fact I am with them. Some of these big industries do treat their animals badly and it's a problem. I am one not to do that. Cows give us food, so I make sure that my cows are taken care of properly. But, what is this lady expecting? I don't care if people like meat or don't, or eat it or not. I could give two sh**. But she came out to a ranch, a cattle ranch. There's bound to be cows heading for butcher. Oh my assure you, these cows are treated like kings. I make sure their death is quick and painless. But these are the cows you are looking for. She just scoffed. I take her by the pen we were supposed to be looking at. So how is this Karen an entitled parent? Well she had a kid in her car. She was buying him a cow as a pet. She had a small trailer, probably only big enough for one cow. At this point she called him out of the car. So which one do you like? I like that one. This kid had pointed to a calf. This calf was too young to be weaned, taken from his mom, so he would have to be sold with his mom. If you want that one you are going to have to buy that red Angus right there, that's his mom and he's too young to leave her yet. EP with a disgusting look, so I have to buy both? Yes m. But since she's a mom she's very protective so let's find another cow. But mom I want that one. My baby wants that one. He's just so cute and small. I don't want to get anything too big. So if that's the case, you should go look for some miniature cows. I know some sellers and I can get you their contact information. Yeah, but I'm already here. Mommy can I go pet the cow? No. Sure sweetie. What's the big deal? He just wants to pet the cow. Rule number one with cattle, be aware of your surroundings. If you see a cow with a calf and the mom is high-headed, don't go near it. This kid is too young to understand, but his mom is too effing stupid to look out for her god kid. Now the mom of the calf this kid went to go pet is a total d She will not put up with anything. So the kid crawls under the panel, and he looked to be about ten or so. Well I had to try and go into the pen, but I needed a cattle prong. A cattle prong is just a long rod that delivers a light shock to the cattle. It's the equivalent of a shock collar to dogs, except it's just long so people can stay safe and keep their distance. Her son goes to touch the calf, and the mom is giving all the warning to stay the f away. He gets close to the calf, and it freaks out. Cows kick to the side, not to the back like a horse. So the calf kicked this kid square in the side of the head. He fell over and started screaming. So is his mom. I hate to say it, but it felt so good to see that entitled Karen see what happens when her ass doesn't listen to professionals. But now with all the screaming, the rest of the cattle are wound up. I get my cattle prong, rush into the pen, and as the mom was about to start charging this poor kid, I start herding her away from him, and I get him out of the pen. I gave him back and told her to get the f off my property. She started yelling at me but I just tuned her out. I can't stand people like that. Moral, listen to the people who know what they are talking about.
Wow, what an amazing story of an entitled parent and their delightful child visiting a cattle ranch. It's truly heartwarming to see how much they care about animals, especially when they want to buy one as a pet and then proceed to get kicked in the head by it. I mean, who wouldn't want a £1,000 animal as a household pet? It's just so practical and safe. And of course, the best part of the story is how the entitled parent demanded to only buy one cow, despite being told that the calf they wanted was still nursing, and needed to be sold with its mother. Because who cares about the well-being of the animals, right? It's all about satisfying the whims of a spoiled child who wants a cute pet. And when things inevitably went wrong, the entitled parent blamed everyone else but themselves, because taking responsibility for their own actions is just too much to ask. Truly inspiring parenting at its finest. Am I the a-hole for asking an older man to leave the skate park my kids were at, and then threatening to call the police when he didn't? We are a military family and just arrived at our new duty station about a week ago. We chose the neighborhood specifically because of all the activities for kids, a huge centralized park with playgrounds, native desert, a swimming pool and a skate park. My kids have always wanted to try skateboarding, so after we got them all set up with the appropriate equipment, I took them over to the skate park at the park. For the most part, it was an okay experience, but I wasn't a fan of the language the teens and pre-teens were using, but I figured that was their turf and the last thing I needed to do was start an issue with them. However, there was a much older man there, he just creeped me out. I'm not sure how to describe it. He had pads and a skateboard, but he only rode it maybe once every 10 minutes. But something about his look just seemed off to me. He also reeked of and a smoke. Finally, he actually ran into my son while they were at the bottom of one of the pools, and I had enough because it seemed so deliberate. I first asked him if he had kids, he said something really creepy like, these are all my kids. I said maybe it's time he found a new hobby. He was so incoherent, I don't know what he said next, but it was something about his soul which really creeped me out. So I told him flat out I think it's time that he left. He said he was leaving anyways in 20 minutes since he had to work. I told him maybe he should just leave now. He said no. I said I was calling the police and finally he said that he didn't want any trouble and he'd leave. I told him if he didn't want trouble maybe he should choose age-appropriate activities. What I hadn't noticed is that, several of the teens were close by and when he left they said things like, maybe your fat should be the one to leave, and B word and C word, and on and on. I had also brought over a specialty concert chair to sit on, and one of the kids had thrown it over the fence into the main park. This truly scared my kids. I dialed 911 and we left the park. It took almost four hours for the police to come to our house, and the officer said that in the future I should call them right away. However, my husband is furious with me. He thinks that I've instantly made us a marked family in the neighborhood, and maybe the older man really was there to enjoy himself. My point is, my husband wasn't there and I tried to act on my own instincts, and they telling me this older man was up to no good. Yes, you're the a-hole. It's understandable that you were concerned for your children's safety and uncomfortable with the older man's behavior. However, it's important to keep in mind that the skate park is a public space, and unless the man was breaking any laws or rules, he had a right to be there. Threatening to call the police may have been excessive, particularly if he had already agreed to leave. It's possible that this could have escalated the situation unnecessarily and caused further tension with the other teens at the skate park. It's also important to consider how your actions may affect your family's reputation in the neighborhood. It's possible that your husband's concerns about being seen as a marked family may be valid. In the future, it may be helpful to try and communicate with others in a calm and respectful manner, to address any concerns you may have. If there are any safety concerns or illegal behavior, it's appropriate to contact the authorities. However, if it's simply a matter of personal discomfort or a clash of cultures, it may be best to simply remove yourself and your children from the situation. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell icon to enable notifications and stay updated with our latest videos. To catch up on all the stories, you can access the playlist located at the top of the description.